Hello, and welcome to Let's Try. We're trying War Pips. Uh, War Pips, you know, I, I wish I was uh, better prepared, but I'm pretty sure, let me see here, it is still an early access game. Okay, just wanted to make sure that. It's an early access game, but the reason I had to check is it doesn't really feel like one right now. Um, I've seen a few people cover it, and um, it seemed interesting. It seemed to me uh, not to be uh, blunt but kind of a like a mobile game almost like a clash of clans or a you know clash royale kind of kind of thing and i don't think that's an unfair comparison but it's actually pretty good i i'm enjoying it let me uh, let, let's talk about it but i'm gonna i'm gonna jump into something we'll do conquest mode i just finished the tutorial so i should be able to actually play uh we'll do sergeant why not Uh, army customization. Uh, well, we can we can select our color and stuff. Sure. This this seems fine. Yeah. Uh, tank sounds good. We can choose our enemy color. Uh, let's let's go with gray. Dang them them uh, brutal neutral army. I can't stand them. Um, all right. So you can uh, you can pick your. This is your 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 map. Uh, you <laughs> kind of. Anyone who's like familiar with maybe like a Rome or almost like a Banner Lords um, might, you know, recognize something like this. You can kind of pick and choose your missions. They offer different rewards, which is interesting and uh, it means you, you, there's like a macro strategy as well as a micro strategy. Um, we're going to pick this one. I'm going to go with the loadout so we can throw in some dudes here. These are... These are limited so you can't like you can't just like throw everything in so i'm gonna i'm gonna be a little bit picky choosy i think i could maybe win this battle with like this many dudes so we'll see what the actual the, the actual gameplay is simple but that doesn't mean that there isn't depth to this game which i do actually really appreciate i, I appreciate when a uh kind of a casual game can can be given some depth so let's check this out um so we got we got our standard pip squeaks. These guys are not going to be super effective, but we can throw some in. Maybe they'll get a, some easy kills. Not easy kills, like random kills. Um, we start with three combat points, which is interesting. I have a funny feeling these guys are going to get wiped off the map. Well, they're not dying instantly, so that's not that's not bad. Oh, they did actually get some kills. Nice. Um, we can immediately upgrade this. This upgrades our, our units so that they're like overall much tougher. Now uh, we have enough money. I'm gonna. This is like you're limited by how many units you can spawn by how many. I don't know. You want to call these pips? Um, unlock pip supply. Okay, that's our pip supply. We can upgrade this once we level up and get some combat points. Our dudes are being very uh, not smart right now. <laughs> I should be using this defense bo bonus, but I, I figured they'd be a little bit smarter than that. Okay, that's that looks like a good kill. Oh, I was hoping we'd get both of those. Okay, so maybe we want to get him to be a bit more aggressive, move up a bit, and then defend to get some extra range. So you have a little bit of... You don't control your units directly. You have a little bit of inadvertent direction. You can basically give them a buff for defense and then they'll run behind cover and get some range bonus. And then you can um, like basically tell them to, to rush and then get some move speed and weapon accuracy, uh, which is cool. I'm going to upgrade our uh, pip uh, supply again. And as soon as this guy dies, uh, you, you, I'm gonna I'm gonna basically throw everything at them. You want to basically, like, you don't want to just like throw in units one at a time because then they even have a word for it in the game. It's called trickle deaths or something. But you want to like throw everything at once. So sometimes it, it actually benefits you from like holding back a little bit, um, just so that you can uh, you know conserve your your pips. Get the, as much as you can out of them at uh, at one time. We can also spend combat points here to uh, get some money, which might be nice, but I don't know if I necessarily need that right now. I'm thinking that the way I kind of play things is um, I like to wait to see if I'm going to get enough to level up my units. 
and also just like play it by ear keep enough in reserve to to be a bit flexible this looks like we're we're like very much going to win here now we can can push in be a bit more aggressive and I mean, yeah, like it, it does play a bit like a clash, uh, clash game. You you you're basically doing this like push, defend, push, pull back, kind of uh, warfare. You got to be a little bit smart about what kind of units you you put in. I guess I I kind of wasted that turret, but we got one back, so that's okay. We also got a small turret. We got some more pip squeaks. So that means we can use up pip squeaks in a future combat. Um, so you can see army strengths. I think, I think that I'm not sure if that's like the overall strengths or, and we just like looking at what kind of, uh, you know, what we're going to, we're going to, what kind of rewards we're going to get up. We can see what kind of, um, units we're going to be facing. They have like their own little pip squeaks. Um, I don't know what arms dealer is. Okay. So we can use these combat coupons to buy extra units, which is nice. I'm not sure what these war bucks are, but combat, oh, see, and then you can buy combat coupons with war bucks. Okay, so there's many currencies going on. And then there's current uh, upgrades. Engineering corpse makes all constructibles cost 50% less to build. Assault and defense buttons fill up faster. That'd be kind of nice. Let's, uh, let's throw some war bucks at that. And then, um, you know, we have, we can see how many units we've got. Let's, uh, let's do another mission. Oh, we want to hit our loadout first. So we'll throw in another pipsqueak and we'll throw in this dude and we won't, uh, we won't use up anything else. We can get away with that for now. I do like the risk element in this game of like, you know, how many units do you want to try and throw at this to make it easier or harder on you? Um, and, and also there's a bit of a strategic element there as well, because you, you might get to know some of the enemy units and, uh, decide, okay, well, I can totally get away with, uh, shortchanging the, you know, our, our, uh, this mission for units, like maybe being a li little less aggressive on the loadout. They should be able to kill this guy. Nice. So, I mean, like, this is a pretty simple game, um, you know, it's not, uh, but like, at the same time, it, it's got a lot of things going on, um, you could, you could put in a lot of thought into, into this kind of game, um, it's a, it's a little bit more, more deep than it has any right to be, um, which I, I really appreciate it, and I, you know, like, it's, I don't know, and maybe it's refreshing to see this kind of model of game, or kind of genre of game, without it trying to like nickel and dime you like we've seen a similar genre of game um be very i don't know predatory with its microtransactions with its like oh get your battle pass buy your your war bucks with this currency that currency and this one is just like a game it's it's just straight up a game and it's it's pretty enjoyable i i like it i think it's it's pretty fun and i also do like the uh I like the art style they've gone with this, like, kind of low poly and, like, uh, sprite based characters. Works quite well. There's, uh, there's more units and stuff later, uh, but you obviously gotta. Oh, we've got vehicles now. Okay. Actually, hold up. Hold b back up, my dude. See if maybe. Okay. We're gonna. I'm gonna use an extra. Uh, buy an extra pip here. Actually, let's buy another extra pip, and then I'm gonna throw everything in. This dude is doing a good job defending. I want to kind of keep him safe for now. Enemy wave approaching. Okay, well this this could be bad. Ooh, well that was kind of unoptimal on that on those grenades. Let's be a bit more aggressive, just to push them up a bit, and then uh, and then have them defend. Okay, so we're good for now. We'll have them push up a bit. Very nice. And then let's have them defend. Get that range bonus. Very nice. Okay, it's going well. That car is still alive and it seems to be spawning units. 
Nice. Okay, that that car is dead. We lost a unit, but we're we're all good. I'm probably gonna upgrade my units again. They uh, they're getting kind of caught on that obstacle. It looks like they're they're like they're using it. They were using it to defend, but they weren't being able to shoot from around it. There's a bit of a like the units AI. I mean, it's it's good enough for now. Um, I'm not sure if things if like. What's weird is that these objects have physicality. I don't know if physicality is correct, but they're they're actually like physical. They have physics. They move around the world. Um, explosions kind of shift them around, um, which is interesting. Uh, and then like the units can kind of like you know walk up to them in their new location and use them as cover fire, um, or use them for cover. It's it's. It's cool, but I do wonder if things could, you know, uh, go awry and you could end up with, in a situation where, like, maybe uh, a dude thinks that, a, you know, a piece of rubble is cover and then, like, can't shoot from behind it. But this is completely theory. I, you know, I wouldn't, wouldn't say that. And it also, it kind of falls under the umbrella of this game is in early access. I haven't encountered it myself, but... It's a it's an interesting and ballsy choice, if I'm being honest, to, to kind of give some of the objects in the in the world um, physics so that they can move around makes makes you, gives you a bit of a, a little bit of um I don't know immersion is not the right word but it certainly makes things satisfying. All right, we should be good now. Just go ahead and run up and and shoot the shoot the shit out of that. Okay. Nice. Oh, not nice. We lost almost all of our dudes. But we won. And I was correct in, like, only using, like, pipsqueaks and, and that one dude. We have four lives. Okay, so... I, I wouldn't call this a roguelike, but I definitely... It's a game you can lose. <laughs> Which is an interesting... Uh, is is also... You know, that's a, that's a choice. It's a, it's a ballsy one these days. Uh, I can imagine being pretty salty about losing a game like this. Rewards, high value. We don't even know, but we do know um, that there's a lot, a lot of opposition on this one. So if we were going to pick this one, and why not? Let's let's consider it. Uh, we might want to consider putting in like snipers, which we could afford. We could buy. Oh, th those are on sale as well. Sure, let's buy a, a sniper. And then, so for something like this, we're going to want, uh, we'll have like guards with shields, like SWAT teams, we'll have snipers. Maybe we don't, we don't want to throw in too much. I also, I will always probably put in some pipsqueaks. This, uh, the tactician is actually really nice. They can like, uh, call in for airstrikes and stuff like that. They're, they're really cool. Um, I think we always want to have these like, you know, very sta stock standard pips. So, yeah, this seems like a lot, but it might be ideal to have this much. Kind of want to have the sniper as well, but I don't want to waste anything. Okay. All right. Let's see what we're up against. I do wish I could skip this, like, little intro. Oh, my God. Uh, this is the first time I've been fighting a, a... I don't even know what to call that thing. All right, so let's throw in our, our pipsqueaks, first of all. We are... F our opposition's already pretty tough. Constructed defensive anti-vehicle turret. Um, that's going to cost us some money. We want to focus on... I guess defense for now? That I guess that is defense, but... Like, we want to we wanna get some units in there. Maybe I shouldn't have taken pipsqueaks on this. Our w basic war pips were our pipsqueaks. Okay, so let's upgrade our units. I, I think upgrading your units like as quickly as possible is probably the best thing you can do for yourself. And we just wanna like gain a bit of XP, uh, upgrade our units as well as uh, like get some more supplies. Uh, make sure we're just, like, creating a sufficient opposition. We'll throw in some pipsqueaks just to, just to get rid of that. Like, they, they've got their own 
Also, did do pipsqueaks now summon two at once? Because that's interesting. I like the music. It's nice. It's it's very it's it's fun. Um, okay, so all right, now let's let's send in something mean. There we go. All right, things. This is this is gonna create a good opposition. Ooh, I gotta they, they just. Oh, that's gas. Oh, interesting. So I, I I picked the right time to send in these dudes. I think. As soon as I see a vehicle, I'll set up this uh, defensive anti turret. They've already gotten taken out the tower. That's pretty good. I noticed where we get to like missiles at the, at some point. That's that's kind of scary. All right, we just lost everything, and we have a vehicle. Let's set up a anti vehicle turret, and we'll set a, throw in another one of those. Um, I think we gotta upgrade this twice, and then buy a couple of those so that we have some money. Things are, are getting kind of nasty now. Okay, good. Nice. That was pretty good. Let's uh, push in as hard as we can. And give them that range bonus. I don't know if that also increases their accuracy. Oh, we just lost two. If I can push up, oh, okay, nice. We can, if you push up a bit, you can build your your uh, structures a little bit forward, so we can try and get rid of that vehicle. But it, it, I think it missed, which is really unfortunate. Let's just let's be super aggressive with these dudes. So these guys not only have they they have a, a pip limit themselves. You can't build more than four of them. That accuracy bonus was really nice. You gotta, you gotta be very like, you can't just watch. You, you gotta, you gotta use your your defense and and aggress, uh, aggression buttons at the right time. Okay, so like, oh, that sucked. Okay, let's put in an anti. Oh, I don't think that I don't think that hit it. That vehicle is like in the worst positioning for me right now. Oh, there we go, perfect. Okay, push in, push in, push in. I don't know if holding like the uh, added range works for like trying to shoot the enemy base. That one dude is, like, doing the Lord's work right now. Okay, we're gonna buy some extra money. And uh, I'm gonna also buy some extra pips. And we're gonna go hard right now. And these dudes seem to be it. The heavy gunners seem to be a, a pretty effective. Yeah, yeah, that extra range is, is doing really well for us. All right, push, push, push. All right, we, we have maxed out our pips. All right, go, 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 go. I think we should be able to win this. All right, all right, this is going well. There we go. Nice, I think I, I 
like w- sent in the appropriate number of of dudes and and firearms. I think that worked out well. Um, spawns a sw- okay. Hold on. Gives back one lost life. No effect if no lives have been lost. Okay, so I did I did well not to lose any lives. So what do we have here? Barbed wire, oil barrel. Uh, oh, these are nice. You can they, these like auto like aim for enemy dudes. Pip pup spawns a swarm of anti infantry attack dogs. Dogs will return cash if they make it back alive. Uh, more war pips. And two tacticians. Okay, that's pretty good. And we got some more bucks and we got uh, four combat. No, I don't think we got any of these. I'm not sure. Unless it already added it to my supply. So that was a pretty big mission. Um, let's do one more and then I'll call it for this. I'm going to have a look at our arms dealer. Oh, maybe we'll, we'll buy an upgrade. What do we got here? Starts the round with one extra pip supply. That would actually be really nice. All vehicles gain a large health increase. I think that's when we get vehicles. I don't have vehicles yet. Um, makes all constructibles cost 50% less to build. Small turrets. Okay, let's uh, let's go for this. I think this is a good purchase. Um, we'll go to arms dealer. Maybe we can buy something. Doesn't look like it. Uh, I mean, I mean, I guess we could buy a sniper. Let's let's buy some more bucks and then we'll buy the sniper. All right, and then we'll pick, we'll, we'll do a, an easy-ish one just to round things out. Oh, right, I gotta, gotta put in some uh, loadout. So, you know what, we'll just do this. This is easy enough. Should be, should be a pretty simple mission. We don't have to send in a bunch of dudes. And I mean, like, there's a risk-reward thing here because the less, less I send in, um, you know, the more I kind of net the rewards because I, I am... You know, I'm not spending as much to get those rewards. So we'll just send in the three for now. And I'm going to save and try and, like, uh, advance our units. The other thing uh, I didn't mention about advancing units, uh, like, I think they do become more effective, but also you gain more experience points from uh, kills when their their uh, ra rank has been advanced. So it's, it's worth doing that, like, as soon as possible because you can get more... Uh, combat points in the long term. So this is our first map with two directions to come in from. That's interesting. Oh, all right. They're they're already sending in quite a bit. I kind of want to uh, upgrade our units again, like as soon as possible. I'm amazed this guy hasn't died yet. But he's also not hitting anything because he keeps uh, just barely grazing that car. Okay, nice. Nice. Everyone survived. Honestly impressive. This is a, this is a pretty satisfying game. Like, I, I like it. Quite a bit, actually. I, a lot more than I thought I was going to. Um... There's just a, a really nice sense of uh, execution and polish on this game. Um, I, I like the variety of enemies and uh, units to throw out. I like the strategy, both the micro and the macro, and it's it's satisfying. It's just like it's a it's a very satisfying game. Um, I'm gonna buy. Let's let's upgrade greater units again. This dude might actually win it on his own. <laughs> I don't understand how that's even possible. Oh, just barely not. Okay, so we'll go. We'll we'll buy another four units. They're gonna split up, but that'll be fine. Oh, we've already maxed out our our uh, units, so that's that's fine. I think it was right to only send in this this guy. Like we we only needed war pips on this one. Nothing special. I could t buy two more supplies and then buy two more units. They could just barely get there in time. And we can like hold our ba our dudes back a bit so that the new units can make it there to to help like support them. So that's a, a pretty valid tactic, I think.
Funny that they didn't split up. These two guys, these these two guys didn't split up to uh, take out. You know, cover both lanes. Okay, push in, push in, push in, push in. There we go. Easy. Easy peasy. All right. We got some more heavy, uh, another heavy gunner. That, that'll be good for another hard mission. Sandbags are good. Those let you build uh, more cover, fire, base defense turret. Haven't used those, but I, I think we can imagine what that is and how it works. Um, yeah, so I mean, like, I don't know. I like, I don't know if I would like, I wouldn't do a series on this game because it would be kind of much the same at every episode, but I will probably find myself playing this in my off time. Like for five or 10 minutes, this is a really pretty satisfying little uh, filler game. And uh, I think it, it serves it, it serves itself pretty well. Improves base turret accuracy, so we can improve our turrets. Reduces heat per shot on all defense turrets. So we can oh, there's even more I didn't even realize. What is this? All infantry get a small health increase. Oh, that would be nice. And then you can unlock additional slots for arms dealer, so the arms dealer could be selling more things. Wouldn't mind getting that guy again, but... Um, so yeah, that's War Pips. I think it's a it's a really nice little game. I, I, I'm enjoying it, so... Uh, if you enjoyed this video, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing if you're new to my channel. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.